Now it's time for a series of service developers videos. So we previously had looked at starting with NSO as a network engineering tool, to start with automation tasks around devices, and looking at NSO being used by the operations team to understand the services, and by the provisioning team to provision services instantaneously. So how come the provisioning team can use NSO to provision a specific service? Well, service developers develop an NSO application for that specific service. If you look at the service developers, their primary goal is time to market, meaning there's an idea for a new service type or new offering which you want to automate. So they need to be quick in understanding the requirements until you can provision those services by the provisioning team. So they implement this as an NSO application. Challenges in this area are typically the implementation time. Everyone knows software takes time, and automation software, looking back on the history, is taking too long where you need three or four months to implement a new service type with lots of programmers. That's too long and too costly. Once you've done that and you have that successfully running by the provisioning team and you need to change, that is normally also a cost too. Running fine software is hard to change. It might be too complex to change. It will take too long to change. And in some cases, that piece of software is also outsourced to an external systems integrator, so you're dependent on their availability and their skill sets to return back in and change the software or develop a new software for the service type. Also, when you have automation software running, a complexity added on top of all this is that there is an OSS system north of it. Typically in the NSO context, some kind of order management system which sends order to NSO. That integration might be complex looking at hard-coded APIs we've had before and going to see how NSO addresses the flexibility around API integration and decouples the automation software from the upper OSS system. With some platforms, you might also come into issues around scalability and throughput, where services need to be provisioned very quickly. You need to handle large networks, and that's an area which NSO addresses as well. So time for a couple of videos on these topics.